The Upside Down Boy, story by Juan Felipe Herrera. When I was little, my family spent years working in the fields as campesinos. One day, my mama said to my papi, let's settle down. It's time that Juanito goes to school. That year, we were living in the mountains by Lake Wolfer, a glassy world full of sky colors. Poppy's old army truck brought us down the steep mountain roads all the way to Mrs. Andasola's pink house on Huniper Street. I was eight years old and about to live in a big city for the first time. Mama, who loves words, sings out the name on the street sign, Huniper. Huniper, Huniper. Poppy parks our old army truck on Huniper Street in front of Mrs. Andasola's tiny pink house. We found it at last, Poppy shouts, Huniper. Time to start school, Mama tells me with music in her voice. My Huniper Street, I yell to the chickens in the yard. Don't worry, Chico, Poppy says as he walks me to school. Everything changes. A new place has new leaves on the trees and blows fresh air into your body. I pinch my ear. Am I really here? Maybe the street lamp is really a golden cornstalk with a dusty gray coat. People speed by alone in their fancy melting cars. In the valleys, campesinos saying, Buenos dias, Juanito. I make a clown face, half funny, half scared. I don't speak English, I say to Poppy. Will my tongue turn into a rock? I slow step into school, my burrito de papas, my potato burrito in a brown bag. Empty playground, fences locked, one cloud up high. No one in the halls. Open a door with a blue number 27. Donde estoy? Where am I? My question in Spanish fades as the thick door slams behind me. Mrs. Sampson, the teacher, shows me my desk. Kids laugh when I poke my nose into my lunch bag. The hard round clock above my head clicks and aims its strange arrows at me. On the chalkboard, I see a row of alphabet letters and addition numbers. If I learn them, will they grow like seeds? If I learn the English words, will my voice reach the ceiling, weave through it like grapevines? We are finger painting. I make wild suns with my open hands, crazy tomato cars and cucumber sombreros. I write my name with seven chiles. What is that? Mrs. Sampson asks. My tongue is a rock. The school bell rings and shakes me. I run and grab my lunch bag and sit on the green steel bench. In a few fast minutes, I finish my potato burrito, but everyone plays and I am alone. It is only recess, my classmate Amanda says in Spanish. In Spanish, I pronounce recess slowly. Sounds like Reese's, like the word for cattle, huh? I say. What is recess? I ask Amanda. The high bell roars again. This time, everyone eats their sandwiches while I play in the breezy baseball diamond by myself. Is this recess? I ask again. When I jump up, everyone sits. When I sit, all the kids swing through the air. My feet float through the clouds when all I want is to touch the earth. I am the upside down boy. Poppy comes home to Mrs. Anda Sola's pink house. I show him my finger painting. What a spicy sun, he sings out. It reminds me of hot summer days in the San Joaquin Valley, he says, brushing his dark hair with his hands. Look, mama, see my painting? Those are flying tomatoes ready for salsa, Mama sings. She shows my painting to Mrs. Andesola, who shows it to Gabino, her canary. Gabino, Gabino, see? Mrs. Andesola yells. What do you think? Gabino nods his head back and forth. Pio, pio, pi. Mrs. Sampson invites me to the front of the class. Sing, Juanito. Sing a song we have been practicing. I pop up shaking. I am alone facing the class. Ready to sing? Mrs. Sampson asks me. I am frozen. Then a deep breath fills me. Three blind mice, three blind mice, I sing. 
My eyes open as big as the ceiling and my hands spread out as if catching raindrops from the sky. You have a very beautiful voice, Juanito, Mrs. Sampson says. What is beautiful? I ask Amanda after school. At home, I help Mama and Mrs. Andasola make buenolas, fried sweet cinnamon tortilla trips. Pico, come here, I sing out, calling my dog as I stretch a dough ball. Listen to me, I sing to Pico with his ears curled up into fuzzy triangles. My voice is beautiful. What is he singing? Mrs. Andasola asks my mom as she gently lays a buenelo into the frying pan. My teacher says my voice is beautiful, I sing, dancing with a tiny dough ball stuck on my nose. See, sí, see, sí, Mama laughs. Let's see if your buenos come out beautiful too. I only made it to the third grade, Juanito, Mama tells me as I get ready for bed. When we lived in El Paso, Texas, my mother needed help at home. We were very poor and she was tired from cleaning people's houses. That year, your mama won a spelling medal, Poppy says as he shaves in the bathroom. Your poppy learned English without a school, Mama says. When he worked the railroads, he would pay his buddies a penny for each word they taught him. Poppy says softly, each word, each language has its own magic. After a week of reading a new poem aloud to us every day, Mrs. Sampson says, write a poem, as she plays symphony music on the old red phonograph. I think of Mama, squeeze my pencil, pour letters from the shiny tip like a skinny river. The waves tumble onto the page. L's curl at the bottom, F's tip their hats from their heads. M's are sea waves, they crash over my table. Juanito's poem, Papi Felipe with a mustache of words. Mama Luca with strawberries in her hair. I see magic salsa in my house and everywhere. I got an A on my poem, I yell to everyone in the front yard where Mama gives Papi a haircut. I show Gabino my paper as I fly through the kitchen to the backyard. Listen, I sing to the baby chicks with my hands up as if I am a famous music conductor. I sprinkle corn kernels and sing out my poem. Each fuzzy chick gets a name. Beethoven, you are the one with the bushy head. Mozart, you jumpy black spotted hen. John Sebastian, tiny red rooster, dance, dance. In the morning as we walk to school, Poppy turns and says, you do have a nice voice, Juanito. I never heard you sing until yesterday when you fed the chickens. At first, when we moved here, you looked sad and I didn't know what to do. I felt funny, upside down, I say to him. The city streets aren't soft with flowers. Buildings don't have faces. You know, Poppy, in the campo I knew all the names, even of those bugs with little wild eyes and shiny noses. Here, he says, here's my harmonica. It has many voices, many beautiful songs, just like you. Sing them. On open house day, Mama and Poppy sit in the front row. Mrs. Andasola admires our drawings on the walls, Gabino on her shoulder. Our paintings look like the flowery fields back in the valley, I tell Amanda. I have a surprise, I whisper to Mama. I am El Maestro, Juanito, the choir conductor. Mrs. Sampson smiles wearing a chile sombrero and puts on the music. I blow a C with my harmonica, la, 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 la. Ready to sing out your poems? I ask my choir. Uno, dos, and three.